So when we're done with this guy, you're gonna be absolutely amazed how simple it is to take this simple basic design and make it flexible to work on an iPhone and flexible to work on an iPad. Very simply done, okay? So now we're gonna create the section tag. It's important to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. We select the section tag, come over here to make a new CSS rule. What does it say right there? I just wanna share a concept with you. There's a lot of other videos that they claim they teach Dreamweaver, but they totally don't use the Dreamweaver vocabulary. So as an example, I won't mention any names, but there's a wonderful website out there that sells videos beginning with an L, ending with an A. I won't mention their name, but I see one of their instructors say, what you do is you go over here to the settings. Well, there's no settings. Now, semantically settings, yes, I get settings, but the software doesn't speak semantics. The software is a literal being. It's an understanding of how it was programmed. So this is what does it say? It doesn't say settings. It says new CSS rule, exact vocabulary, rules for your tag. Select the tag, make a rule. It's not settings, it's rules. I didn't make this up. So I'm gonna to go to section, and section's going to be based on these choices here. Section's going to be, we said section to be 650 pixels. So 650 pixels, and let's put 20 pixels of padding. So if I hit the apply option, this is now 650 with 20 pixels of padding, and we want this to float to the left. So I'm gonna apply that. Okay, so there's the section tag, section tag. Now, again, just because we can, let's just give this some kind of color. Now, pay no attention to the design here. On this scene, it's doing this, you can visually see what's going on here. Okay, now what I want to do here, I want to give this some kind of space between the nav tag. So therefore, box category, category box, from the left and just from the left, we're gonna do 20 pixels of margin. Margin space is outside the box. Padding space is inside the box. 20 pixels of margin to the left, which means I now need to what? I now need to minus 20 pixels. If I don't do that, guys, very important step here. You can put a 10 foot room, I'm sorry, you can put a 10 foot table inside of a nine foot room, unless you cut part of it off. So you have to keep track of your math. Whatever you add, whether it's padding, margin, or border, you have to deduct from the width. Otherwise, it's gonna come out of the box. So if I hit the apply option, there's my margin space. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now, article we'll do in a separate next video. The aside tag, select the tag. In order to affect the aside, we select the aside. By default, the aside tag, is taking up this entire space. So we're gonna select the tag and make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. So guys, at two o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep, I want you to hear my voice say, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. We're making a rule for the selected tag because in order to affect the tag, you need to select the tag. That's how all software works. In order to affect something, you must select something. Okay. So let's go to the category of box. Now we set this up earlier to say the aside tag is going to be 200 pixels wide. 200 pixels wide with a 20 pixel padding, which means the, this is going to be minus 40. And also we wanna put some margin space to the left of this of 20 pixels. This goes along the, the 960 grid premise. Each grid is separated by 20 pixels. We'll talk about that in my video series. If you subscribe to my video series, you'll get the whole shebang, A to Z, the entire series for $39 for a three month subscription. You can cancel any time. So we take this and we minus, minus 20 pixels. Apply that, make a change, save a change. Now notice that the aside tag is down here because based on these choices, we need to float this to the left. Okay, so for the apply option, the aside tag is now going to the left. Hey guys, it looks like I got slightly distracted as I was explaining this to you, so my apologies. I just wanna review a few things here. So nav tag, nav tag, again, it's gonna be 110, 650, 200, which adds up to 960. So I just wanna share this with you. 
So nav tag is set to 70 pixels wide plus 20 pixels of padding. So 70 to the left and the right, so it's left and right is 40. 40 plus 70 is 110, okay? Then I screwed up on the section tag. My mistake, I wasn't. I was trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. My apologies. So this is set to, let's do the math. So this is set to, we want to make this 650. So it was 650 minus the padding here is 40, so minus 40, which gives us 610 minus 20 from the left. So minus 20 from the left. That gives us 590. And that's floated to the left. Now everything fits into place. Okay, before I pause the video here a second ago, I just had too much space in my section tag. And I caught that mistake and I fixed it. And that's how to fix it. Okay, so the footer tag. Let's select the tag. I want to affect the tag. We have to select the tag. Let's select the tag for footer. Now, footer would technically be a little different. Footer is the type, it's just a little smaller here. So we're going to make our type be up. If you want to make this flexible, let's make our type be 0.7 M's, which will be 70% of my body copy, which is a good thing. Okay, let's make our type white. And I want, my, I want to make my box height, box height, I want to put the type vertically in the center, top and bottom. So I'm going to make my box height 30 pixels high. Therefore, if I go to my background color based on these choices, category background, we're going to make this black. Now, watch what happens if I hit the apply option. Oh, 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 heck is going to break loose here. Because the footer doesn't understand that this is here because this has a float, the section has a float, the aside tag has a float. So based on these choices, we need to go to the box category and we need to clear the floats. Footer needs to have a clear associated to it clear left. So if I hit OK, all is right in the universe. Footer is now at the bottom. I'm going to double click footer to one more change here. Category block, block category, horizontally align this to the center. So we vertically aligned it to the center by saying not the box height 30 pixels, the line height 30 pixels. That's going to vertically put this in the center, center top and bottom. Okay, so let's finish building this site in our next video.